Hi guys, this is Rob from TechAge.com. Since NVIDIA just announced that it will be licensing an iRay Plus plugin as well as iRay server software, I thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look at what both bring to the table. First, let's tackle what iRay is. Quite simply, it's a physically based renderer, which means that scenes can be created with the intent of applying material profiles to all of its objects. This allows the renderer to treat them as if they were real objects. Because iRay can tell the difference between each material, the lighting in a final scene render should end up being very convincing. Something that ties into this is NVIDIA's V materials, a massive library of material profiles that people can use to assign to their scene's objects. At the time of this video's publishing, this library is packed with 200 different materials, with NVIDIA promising that many more are on their way. A couple of products on the market already offer a basic iRay plugin, such as 3ds Max. We've talked a few times on the website before about how it works and how it performs in different hardware. I'll toss a link in the description in case you want to read up on that. iRay Plus improves upon the core iRay in a couple of different ways, and you're looking at one of them right now, live rendering. This feature can ultimately decrease the overall amount of time and not to mention tedium a designer has to suffer when tweaking a scene. With live rendering, every single change is instantly reflected in the render viewport. These can be as minor as swapping the color on an object, manipulating objects around a scene, and probably most useful, instantly reflecting lighting changes in a scene. Another huge perk of iRay Plus has to do with its scalability. As far as I'm aware, there's no cap on the number of GPUs that can be used, which is something that's really working out to NVIDIA's advantage, as some customers have purchased hundreds of Quadro cards to put to work. A great example I was given was with Honda in Japan, which currently makes use of 30 NVIDIA VCAs, or Visual Computing Appliances. Each VCA includes 8 top-end Quadro cards, so ultimately Honda is making use of 240 graphics cards to render a single image in real time. That's pretty incredible, and definitely something I would love to benchmark. As you can see in the background, I've chosen to use 3ds Max to help show iRay Plus off, but plugins are also available for Maya and Rhino. Each of these sells for $295 on an annual license. It's worth mentioning that Dassault's Katia already makes use of iRay Plus, but gives it the name of Live Rendering, and soon it'll also hit Siemens and X. In addition to the iRay Plus plugin, NVIDIA has also just released iRay Server, a networked rendering solution that mimics what's possible with NVIDIA's VCAs. The software is currently only available for Windows, but NVIDIA says that a Linux version is en route. Setting the software up is seriously easy. You install it and run it. That's it. Once launched, you'll be able to connect to that PC's IP address through any iRay Plus plugin. And once you do that, you'll be able to take advantage of either the streaming or queuing modes. The difference between these two modes is pretty simple. Queuing is when you're finished with a scene and you want to push it over to iRay Server to render later on, while streaming is when you're using iRay Server in real time to render an image, such as with iRay Plus's live rendering feature. The output you see is configurable. It can either be a video at a variable bitrate or an image. If you're interested in seeing what iRay Server actually looks like, you can click through to the article in the description below. For the most part, on the client side, rendering processes will feel a little different. It's actually pretty discreet. A major highlight though is the awesome looking web interface that comes with the software. With it, you can monitor renders as well as do a bunch of neat little things. You can access that PC's hardware, for example, where you can enable or disable individual GPUs. You can also take advantage of being able to create additional users so that you can keep things better organized. The coolest feature of this interface to me is the ability to copy a render job that's already in the system and then adjust its perimeters. What makes this useful is the fact that the client applications, such as 3ds Max, won't be needed to make small changes. You can adjust the output format, the resolution, add buffers, and decrease or increase its priority accordingly. I should note that unlike iRay Plus, which can use NVIDIA's GeForce desktop cards for live rendering, iRay Server requires Quadro cards to be used. In this particular example, I am using a Titan X on the desktop and a Quadro M5000 and M6000 in the server. If you happen to be curious about what kind of performance you'll see from these cards, we've got you covered. For this light benchmarking session, I am taking a static scene and rendering it with 500 iterations. This is hardly production quality, but it's sufficient for the sake of gauging overall performance. Unlike NVIDIA SLI on the desktop side of things, which requires identical models to be used, iRay Plus is able to take advantage of dissimilar models and can dramatically improve performance. Ideally, you'd always use equal hardware for optimum efficiency, and you definitely want to avoid mixing entirely different architectures. You can do that, but efficiency will take a mammoth hit. 
As you can see here, when both the M5000 and M6000 cards join forces, the render time is halved versus using a single M5000. Dual M6000s would give a performance boost beyond this, and of course, things can only improve from here. NVIDIA currently supports up to 4 Quadro cards per system, but if you need to take your horsepower to the next level, you could link systems together with iRay Server. And with that, we're at the end of this video. If you want to learn even more about iRay Plus or iRay Server, you can hit up the link to our related article in the description below. Thanks for watching.